next I'm going to put these axles in. I dabbed a little bit of grease around this end where that little clip is to help me slide it in there. If it works, just need to slide that in through the new seal. Did it go? Yep. There it went. It's as far as it goes in there. It doesn't go all the way up to rub against the metal. There's a little gap between the end of the axle part here and the oil seal. All right, on the other side, the left side, it just bolts together. Put the bolt holes up. Where the Just tighten up all of these bolts. Snug these guys down good and tight. All right, now I'm gonna put the top of the front struts in. Struts are labeled left and right, so you make sure you get them on the correct side. Now I'm just going to snug all these guys up nice and snug, not over tightened. I forgot what the torque is, I think it's like 20 foot pounds. I'm going to slide the knuckle assembly onto the axle. I need to slide in that hole. Yeah, there we go. So that end goes down in the groove. There we go. Oops, the end of the groove is yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah, right about there. I'm gonna have to compress that spring with something. All right, I compressed the spring using my big strap here. I think it might be enough. There, we, that's on. All right, put my washer on here. Make sure I don't have any dirt on it. And my snap ring. There we go, it's in the groove. Okay, that guy's on there, good. Before I put the two bolts on the strut here, I need to put the three bolts in the bottom first. Otherwise you won't be able to fit them in. Okay, all right, now that I have those three bolts loosely fitted in the bottom there, I'm gonna go ahead and try to bolt this strut in here. These bolts go from the front to the back there we go and this one there we go all right now I'll just put the washers and nuts on those but I'm not going to tighten anything up yet we'll slide this side on the left side I'm going to try put those three bottom bolts in first All right, I got these three bottom bolts started. Had to wrestle those in. Put this side on. There we go. There. Put the washers and nuts on there. This side, put my washer on. There we go in the groove. Okay, that side's on. All right, this uh, sway bar thing is going in next on these front mounting bolts. I just took the nuts off. 
So it slides onto these two uh, mounting bolts. Let's uh, take this off. Slides down into that hole right there. There we go. And then the metal cover. And then the bolt. No, I mean, and then the nut. Okay, those are loosely fitted on there. Line it up with my bolt hole. Probably easier just to take it off. Put that back on right there. Let's back on here. And then these two short bolts, smaller bolts go in the top right here. Now I'm going to start torquing these bolts down, suspension arms. The one in front down here torques 55 to 75 foot-pounds. The larger back bolt on the swing arms torques 65 to 100 foot-pounds. The top bolts on sway bar just need to be tight like 20 foot-pounds. The three bottom bolts that go in, uh, the nuts are on the bottom here. Uh, these need to be tight 50 to 75 foot-pounds. These two bolts in the strut need to be tightened 60 to 75 foot-pounds. So I'm going to tighten all of those up. I'm ready to take those uh, compression straps off. Looks good. Okay, we're making progress, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. 